I know you're getting anxious to see some action here, but just a few more things. You can use uh, just any kind of weight you want. I did fiddle around with these scientific weights, which are, are in grams, uh, and hang them from the hook. And there's all different sizes there. And then in the end, you can just weigh these on a scale and forget about the metric system. But uh, I also took a five pound ingot of lead and uh, tried that. And that was just a little bit too much weight. Uh, otherwise, I would have just continued with that method. So I'll throw that off to the side. And I finally went with a tin can with a hook on it. And I filled it with the necessary lead weight. Uh, and and that's, I've already done that, so I know what it's going to take. But um, I'll try to dump that out. But I got several pigs of lead in there and then some smaller pieces. But you could use sand or nails or, or anything. Uh, Lead uh, uh, is just more dense, and you don't need as much of it. But what I have in my hand here is uh, already been determined to be the correct amount, and I'm going to show you that here momentarily. And but I have not weighed this yet. I just know that it it works. So stand by. This is my Stuart Warner tachometer, which I love. If you don't have one of these, get one. Got a rubber tip on it, and we just stick that into the center hole here of uh, the shaft, and this will measure in either direction. And uh, when I uh, start the engine, it's going to run right about 500. Now I I may not be able to show you that on camera because I'm going to be busier than a one-legged man stomping out a forest fire. And you'll see what I mean once the engine's running. I cannot talk while the engine's running. I don't think you'll hear me. But we're going to do that now. Okay, the engine's running. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'll take the uh, measurement first of the RPM. It's running at 450 RPM. Now we're ready to add the weight and impose the load. Hopefully, hopefully you could see that uh, I kind of reached a point of equilibrium there where it was uh, lifting the weight but yet not swinging the weight clear around. Now make sure you keep your face clear of that beam depending on your setup that you don't uh, get smacked in the face by that thing. And now I'm ready to take that tin can along with its hook in and uh, weigh that on an accurate scale. Then we'll come back and plug it into a formula. Now some of you may be wondering about the diameter here. I arbitrarily went with three inches in diameter and of course it's inch and a half wide because that's how wide the stock is. But the larger the engine, the more surface area you're going to need to slow it down or to stop it. And uh, when I do one on my larger engine, I'm gonna go up to a four inch. But if you've ever watched this at a steam show, you know that some of these drums are quite large and they have to be water cooled if the uh, test is to last any length at all because uh, this is strictly air cooled and it didn't take very long it's probably way too hot to touch yeah the, the bolts uh, that are conducting the heat are too way too hot to, to touch so that's how you go about uh, doing the uh, test with the prony brake 
And I spent a lot of time on doing this, much more than what's going to show up here on the uh, video, uh, experimenting, experimenting with it and going with a couple different uh, versions of that prony break, which was qu really quite a bit of fun. And uh, in just a minute, I'm going to get back and we'll uh, do the final formula. I took this can and the hook in the house and weighed it, and it was exactly 4.5 pounds. So we take that 4.5 and add it together with the weight of the beam, which was 15 ounces, and that comes to about 0.94. Those two added together is a total weight of 5.44 pounds. Now the final RPM was just a little faster than the 450. Some of you more observant uh, scientists may have noticed that I did have a wire there and uh, I had my foot around it and I was revving it just a little faster. In other words, I was trying to hold it at open throttle uh, when I was taking that measurement. So that uh, was determined to be 475 RPM that did not show up on the camera. It's just I, I had help when I did the first one and I had no help as I'm taping this. So uh, the RPM was 475 and on the bottom here now when we take the using this formula 475 times the weight which is 5.44 over 2000 calculates out to 1.36 horsepower now this is a 75 year old engine probably pretty well worn so that's what I'm getting out of it and I'm sure there are some inaccuracies in my uh, measurements or my scientific method but this is still uh, pretty close to the uh, one and a half horsepower and I'm sure there's less compression in this engine than there was the day it was made even though it's a pretty good running little engine so we got 1.36 horsepower pretty neat huh for a simple machine and this is all they were capable of doing you know 150 years ago when all they had was weights and uh, also you can use a counter to determine your RPM one of those little stare at revolution counters and uh, figure that ahead of time with some help you need a, a watch when you use a counter it's not a direct reading deal but uh, there you go that's how to make and use a prony break a type of dynamometer used to determine work or horsepower or torque because we actually were measuring the torque and then converting that into horsepower and as you saw me taking the measurement you could see there was considerable torque and in a larger engine you would need even a longer beam and uh, a wider and larger drum to absorb the heat and to slow the engine down some dynamometers use uh, a direct uh, displacement uh, water pump. You don't have to worry about that getting hot. Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. This will have to be presented in two parts because it's running over a YouTube limit of uh, 10 minutes. And uh, if you like that, give me a favorable comment and I might do some on some other engines that I have here. But I, I sure had fun doing this. And didn't know how it would turn out, but I thought it was very successful in terms of, uh, of uh, how my prony brake turned out and the results of the horsepower. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now. <laughs>